sure. Welcome back, everybody. It is the Conway and Whitman Show, and we're live at 97.1 Free FM. Mm -hmm. It is 9 o'clock. And that means news with the lovely Rob and everybody. No. I couldn't believe it. Live. That's in my face. I was like, no mace. No, I do that for friend, but. Late breaking. It's your D. From the 97.1 News Desk. Here's Rob and. Could I get some snow? Yeah. All right. What's in the news, Robin? Well, first over. Jerry, turn it up, Jerry. Turn the mic up a little. Sure. Thank you, Jerry. He's got a little tape of me going, sure, that he's been playing. It really tickles him. All right. Here we go. Well, Oprah Winfrey is getting her own TV network. It will debut next year in the nearly 70 million homes with cable and satellite as part of a deal announced Tuesday with Discovery Communications. And we have audio of Oprah as she made the big announcement on her show this week. Oh, 31. Oh, 31. Oprah getting a, a, TV, a television network? No, didn't she? Whole network. Thank didn't God. she give everybody in the audience a network? You get a network. You get a network. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Oh, did I? Oh. This woman. Did I? Oh, did I? I'm here to announce. Oh, oh. oh Brian. Oh, I didn't even know. I'm sorry, guys. Brian. I'm Brian, sorry. Brian. I'm sorry. I didn't even know. I'm sorry. I'm totally sorry. All right. We'll move on. What's the next? No, no, no. I, I think it's worth a listen. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Oh, F you, Randy. I said I'm sorry, so go uh, F yourself. It's like opening for George Carlin doing George's act. No, it's not. I didn't know their act. I'm here to announce the Oprah TV Network! (laughs) And you get a network, and you get a network, (laughs) and you! Everybody gets a network. See, right. She added dolphins and cars. And yeah, no, funny. I love this bra. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry if I I, I did I did uh, present kind of an obstacle there, and I'm sorry. Boring. Quite it's all right. Just that I, I think, you know, automatically I think Oprah, boom, I, you know, I think, you know, I think. Anything it, else in the news, Robin? Oh, well, of course. Well, a telefo- uh, telephone company cut off an FBI international wiretap after the agency failed to pay its bill on time. Time, according to a U.S. government audit released today, and stopping at nothing to reclaim their money, the collection agency took matters into their own hands. And we have audio of a recent phone call placed by the collection agency in an attempt to get their money back. We're getting, you're trying to get money from the federal government. Yes, indeed. Wow. Uh, B fifty three. B fifty three. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm uh, calling to speak to the man of the house, please. Yeah, this is the man of the house. How are you? I'm well, thank you, sir. Is this Mr. Bush? Who's calling, please? Sir, this is Greta from the CCA Collection Agency. Greta. You have an outstanding FBI wiretap bill. Oh, well, I'm not, you know, so, you know, I don't understand why you people call during dinner time. I'm sitting here with my wife and two daughters trying to enjoy some dinner, and you guys are always calling. Last time you called me, you called me Saturday morning at 8.30 in the morning and woke me up. <laughs> well, sir, I apologize about that, but these bills are not going to pay themselves. Now, when is a good time to call you? Well, a good time to call me would be, uh, why don't you call me about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow? All right. I'll be at Camp David. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, what was that? Nothing. About 2 o'clock tomorrow would be a good time. And if you don't get me tomorrow, call me the day after at about uh, about 12 noon. Okay, sounds like a plan, sir. I'm sorry, my two-week trip to Europe. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, one more time? What? I'm sorry, what'd you say? I look forward to talking to you at those times. God bless, and God bless America. <laughs> we got to pay our bills. <laughs> I gotta get back to dinner. Bye. <laughs> We've got war going on there. There he goes. Yes, we're a nation at war, and yes. he's trying to have dinner with his family. And these damn tele, uh, these not telemarketers, but collection agencies are calling. Nobody's him. immune, man. They got his cell phone number. Yeah, they called. Yeah, he he did sound like he sounded like a he had a cold. Yes, and b he was on a cell phone. Yes. Yeah. All right. Anything else in the news, Robin? Well, pharmaceutical company Pfizer has hired one of KLSX's very own (laughs) to be the new voice of the newly revamped Viagra campaign. And we have a clip from the very first commercial of the series, J65. All right, so somebody here at the station? Yes, has been given the pleasure of being the new voice of Viagra. Wow. wonder who that is. They didn't even call me. Mm, Yeah, I didn't. uh, They should have called you. You use it, right? Well, no, I use it. No. 
No, Tim, I don't have to have it. Sometimes for fun, recreational use, I'll uh, take a Viagra or a Levitra. Never have had... Do you ever take it alone, like you're going to spend the night at home, but you really want to hit it? No, that's very depressing. I wouldn't do that. (laughs) I know somebody who used to do that. Really? (laughs) Do I know the person? (laughs) Yeah. I'll tell you who it is. Oh, no, you're going to write it down? (laughs) I'll write it down. All right, uh, here it is. Uh, This person at the station who's going to be doing the new Viagra ads. Are you suffering from erectile dysfunction? There's nothing more embarrassing in the whirl than when a man can't perform in bed. Hey, it's John from the John and Jeff Show, and if you need a performance boost in the bedroom, you should take Viagra. Viagra is a little blue pill that you ingest that increases blood flow to your problem area and keeps you ready to go for hours. Viagra. You shouldn't take Viagra if you have a heart condition. And possible side effects of Viagra are night sweats and insomnia. If you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, ask your doctor about Viagra today. Viagra. It's like Viagra for your brain. Did he have a stroke at some point before recording that? I don't know what happened then. Yeah, it it sounds like he maybe had a just kind of a, a minor stroke. That you know, some people will have them and they'll work all day. They'll have a stroke and they'll stay at the office all day. I, I, I sort of empathize with them. There are certain words that I can't pronounce. Yeah, well, according that I, don't, to, I don't do well with. According to the the uh, the spots we play of him on on this particular segment of the show, there are a lot of words. Get out of here. Well, I'm all just right. saying. Anything else? The news. There's Robin. Horrell, child, insomnia, uh, insomnia. That's three. Is, I didn't uh, notice. Is Viagra one of them? All right. Anything else in the news, Robin? Well, yes, finally, the latest rumor of pop singer Britney Spears Uh-oh. is that she is converting to Islam oh, no. and moving to Pakistan with her companion Adnan Ghalib. Good. And we have exclusive audio from inside the pop princess's house as she hurried to pack for her one-way flight to Pakistan. Um, S-65. S-65, man. Here we go. sure I have everything packed, okay? Because that is your job. That is what you're getting paid for, y'all. Yes, Brittany. Okay, so um, how many bendies I'm, I'm bringing in? You bring in four. Okay, I have the red, blue, green. Okay, okay. and how many saris? Oh, you got two of them. The red okay. and the white. The red and the... I would have the pink one, y'all. Okay, well, go get the pink one. Okay, go get the pink one. Okay, I have the three, the four bendies, the three saris. I have my hijab. Um, How many rupees am I bringing? What does that translate to in American dollars, y'all? That's uh, 3 million rupees per dollar. Perfect. Okay, so I'll take like 14 zillion rupees. Is that enough? That'll be plenty, Brittany. Okay. And then I got the Gagra Chulis for the kids. Oh, they're going to look so cute. Oh, my God, Spencer. Oh, my God, where are the kids? Spencer, where are the kids? Oh! <laughs> that reminds me, Brittany. It's time to take your meds. Ah, they're with Kevin Federlin, man. Well, you know what uh, is amazing to me? Uh, honest to God, of all of the places, of all of the regions, of all of the nations that you could pick in 2008 to move to, that ain't one of them. Pakistan is perhaps the most unstable, uh, dangerous place to move to of all of the places in the world. Mm, yeah, yeah. You, you probably make a case for that. Yeah. All right. Uh, anything else in the news, Robin? Oh, no, that's what's happening. All right. Robin in the news, everybody. Robin with the news. Everybody knows this guy, Kevin uh, Kevin Fenderlin. How are you, man? What's nice happening? to see you. Yeah, you too, Kevin man. Kevin Fenderlin, you. Man. Look at you. Robin, sorry about that with the, you know, yeah, with, all right, with all the right, Oprah right. bit. Sorry, baby. Yeah, just comedy killer, man. Well, no, I didn't mean to. I mean, I, I know, I know. You know. I would never do that on purpose. All right, uh, something interesting happened uh, during the last commercial break here that's going to make Brian and Jerry very uncomfortable, and, and I apologize to them in, in the beginning here and may have to apologize during this and maybe shortly after. But I think it's worth talking about on the air. And we won't mention the young lady's name. No, we won't mention any names. Okay. But Jerry Wachowski met a young lady about... Uh, Correction, we all met. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yes, I met too. Oh, you met too? At that event? What event? Was it the off-road event? No. What event was it? I believe it was Knott's. Knott's Scary Farm? Was that the event, Jerry? Knott's Scary Farm? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, Jerry's nuts. nodding his head. If yeah. everyone is uh, watching the show instead of listening, he's nodding. Right. I'm, trying, nodding. I'm trying to get my head. He's affirming by a yes, yeah. but he's I nodding. Met yes. 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 I met yes. two. Yes, yes, yes. I met two. All right. Sure. All right. So you guys both met this this girl at the same time. Yeah, I met this chick. No, I do. I'd known her before. Oh, how? Like uh, Camachos, I think. Did you invite oh. her to not scary? Farm? Yes. Okay, that I didn't know. Oh, but she, she and I had a brief conversation. Uh, How old is this woman? She never told me that she had met Jerry before, so uh, she, she didn't like shoo me away or say I'm with Jerry. So I, you know, during a commercial break or whatever, just had a brief conversation. How old is she? I don't know. Like 27, I think. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Well, I think she might be younger 28, than that. Maybe? All right. And I, by the way, I believe that she is taller than the two of you, right? Uh, definitely taller than Jerry, but then again, you know, who's not? Johnny Grant was taller than Jerry. May he rest in peace. I think he still is. Uh, I don't know if she's taller than me or not. She might be. Hmm? She, she is. is. She is. Okay. All right. She's a, 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 She sure. seems like a very conservative girl, but then... Uh, Jerry brought her to the Christmas party, and she really opened up and sang a lot of karaoke and really went nuts. So she was, I was very impressed with her. So uh, Jerry invite, Jerry met her at Camacho's when we had that big uh, celebration with everybody on the stage at the same time. There was Tom Likas, uh, Adam Carolla, Danny Bonaducci. Uh, well, Camacho's. By the way, Jerry, you're a liar because Camacho's came after. No, nuts. Camacho's well, was it didn't, before. dude. I know where I know where I met her. Yeah, Camacho's was in October. It was October 14th. And then Knott's was very cl- soon after that. And Knott's was like a week later. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Fine. All right. So we go to uh, Knott's, and Jerry invites her to Knott's Scary Farm and uh, hitting it off with her. Uh, it, it looked like- um, Not really. Well, it looked like they were getting along pretty they're, good. They're not. And uh, then Brian was talking, hitting on Jerry's chick. The, no. The, no. Stop it. Stop it. Either I'll tell the story and I'll tell it accurately, or you'll tell the Wait, story. Is that not true, though? Uh, no, no, it's not Jerry's chick, because here's the deal, Tim. He brought her to the, Tim, to the li- event. Listen to me, Tim. Listen to me. A couple of years ago, sure. Uh, I met a chick. I think she called the station or whatever. Jerry Wachowski then began communicating with this chick. Actually, this happened two times now. This happened two times. Jerry Wachowski then, because, you know, we put him on hold, you know, to get the phone number. Right. And Jerry be- takes their number and right. begins surreptitiously a... Well, uh, you're working. Right. I mean, because obviously, like, the chick calls to talk to me, so I go, oh, hold on, baby, let me get your number. Jerry then, like a weasel, off the air, takes the number and then gets his own thing going with her. Right. So long story short... Uh, Jerry says to me about a year and a half ago, hey, Whitman, this chick, I won't mention her name, I really, really like her. Would you mind if I just kind of like, you know, went for it? I said, oh, no, Jerry, that's totally cool. I said, I said good luck, man. I said, did you, you, you bang her? He's like, no, no, no. He said, but I think I can. And I said, oh, no, dude, go for it. I pat him on the back. I said, I said I'm out. I won't call her. I won't uh, MySpace. I won't email nothing. I'm totally out. Go for it. So I did that. Jerry has not, to this day, and that was a year and a half ago, had any physical contact with this chick at all. So, which means I gave up a chance. Well, I, I uh, well, let me just. Are make, you back to my spacing her? Let me no, no. I, I'm a man of my word. I backed off. But Jerry has done nothing. So, same thing happens with this chick who we meet at Camacho's or we meet at Knotts. Okay. He so, met at Camacho's and you met at Knotts. Right, but I had a conversation with. She's a she's a nice chick. I went into Jerry's control room. Uh, tonight, I, let's say Blank, because we're not going to use her name. I said, Jerry, have you had sex with Blank? Let's give her a name. So, so let's call her Jessica. About, let's, that, call her, let's call her Mike. Call her, let's, let's call her, her Mike. No, let's call her Jessica. Cause Jessica, because that's, call her, call her, that's her, what Brian called her. Let's call her Steve. No, I got her name wrong, so I confused her with somebody. I said- uh, right, So you wanted to hit on Steve. Stop it, Tim. Right. You want to hear the story or yes. not? Yes. I said, Jerry, do you have sex with Jessica? No. I said, no? I said, do you get anything? Do you get anything going? No. I said, you make out with her? No. Did you put the moves on her? No. What's your move, by the way? I then oh. said to him, excuse me, roofies? I'm almost done. You, you roof him? That's a, all the best chance That's he's got. That's what I do. Liquor I, and roofies. I then said to him, Tim, Jerry, it's been 90 days. Give me her number. I didn't know I was on the clock. Wow. Well, Jerry, 90 days, and you haven't even tongue-kissed her. It, well, Christ, right? I haven't we, I haven't hung out with her that much. Jerry, yeah, also, it's dude, 90 days. And I don't, Brian, I, I'm not... It's 90 days. But dude, it's like taking money from a homeless guy. No, dude, I've done this two times in the past with him. This is totally different. And I met both, this chicken person. Shut up. Shut up. And both times in the past that I've done this for him, Tim, 
both times in the past? He hasn't There's got, only one time in the past. He hasn't gotten two. He hasn't gotten anything going. So, yeah, but dude, don't you understand? It's like taking, you know, hump cream away from the, uh, you know, the no, hunchback be, of Notre Dame. No, it's not because I've made available to Jerry in other ways uh, certain things. That's all I'm going to say. And oh. he and he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can give me the effing number. It's been 90 I'll days. I'll give it to you. You don't I have never it. Said I w- you don't have it. Dude, are you in- Of course you, I have are, it. Are you into her, Jerry? Yes, we were actually supposed to go to a movie on this weekend. Okay. Not anymore. Not, it's, now not, it's Brian. Now Brian's going with no, her, though. 90 days, Tim. <laughs> Tim, it's 90 days. Dude, there shouldn't be a, there's there shouldn't be a, uh, a statute of limitations on it. But, Brian, there's been, a lot of, there's been a lot of scheduling. But I it, don't live very close but to dude, this shape. But, but Brian, when, Brian, excuse listen. me, Tim, but when it's happened two times before, when it's happened just like this, almost exactly like this, Two times before, and he has gotten nothing done with either chick two times before. This is now the third time, and I've given well, him 90 in days. In my defense, the Jared, other chick actually turned out to be somebody who doesn't really do that kind of well, stuff. Well, apparently not what I heard. Jared, can you get this woman on the line? It's not what I heard. I'm going to talk to her. <laughs> Are you for yeah, real? absolutely. All right. Will she come on with us? I'll call her right now. I'll okay, call her and see if she'll come on. Um, but I, I don't know why you, and, and of course this segment is going to be made to make me look like the idiot but all I'm saying is the audience should know what I've done for Jerry I've done some nice things for Jerry and this is the third time this has happened Wait, with I know one time it happened but I don't know the and second I backed time off. remember I backed yeah, I remember, off I remember the first time and I was totally cool right. I, I backed off totally and that was actually a chick you guys met at the same time and I backed off totally and I said Jerry go for it and right. what and what did Jerry get done Nothing. Jerry got nothing done. Okay, Tim, then it happened, my brother. I don't remember it happening the second time. Well, I'm telling you it did. I'm I'm sure it did. I just don't remember it. I like to to know where it was. All right. It happened a second time. Where? uh, With a chick who called the show. It happened a second time. And he went out with her? With with the number. You know, with the number. Oh, hold on, baby. Let me get your number. Then he gets the number. And then, oh, I see. Okay. And then, like a little weasel, starts calling. So that's the second time. Did he get anything going? I don't know. No, he didn't. I backed off totally. Okay. This is the third time it's been 90 days. I think I could call I actually the- got a pretty good friendship going with that one chick, but, I mean, it didn't work out uh, like yeah, that way. Chick, and I was this chick sure. home? Yeah. She- I'm, having, I'm having Gina call her right now. Oh, good. Okay. All right. We'll put her on the, uh, on the air. And see if uh, hey Gina, we're going to call this chick. You got it, okay? No, okay. it's not that I'm. It, it, all I'm saying is that all I'm saying is Jerry's the kind of guy, and every guy knows a guy like this. And by the way, I'm not a guy who at all tries to like you know uh, C block his buddies or anything like that. I'm right. I'm not. I that. know. I I I totally will will vouch for that. That that Brian is the guy that will back off. But I think you've been pushed to your to your limit. You saw me do it. You yeah, saw I've, me back I've seen off. You do it once. Not only will I back off, but I'll also facilitate, don't I, Jerry? All right. Yes, you facilitated. You've been nice. Thank you. Thank right, you. If you're just tuning in, Jerry Wachowski met a chick at Camacho's, invited her to Not Scary Farm. Where I met her. He has not had any physical contact with her. So now Brian wants the phone number to step in and take a shot. Because it's been more than 90 days, and this has happened two times before. The question for the audience, is there a statute of limitations on it? And if so, what is that number? Is it 90 days? Three months? Is it 400 days? Is it a year? Is it two years? Is it never? What is the statute of limitations where you can then start going after one of your buddy's chicks? And when you answer this question, and Tim will give you the phone number in just a second, I want you guys to understand... <coughs> Excuse me. I want you guys to understand. I'm sick. I want you to understand. Jerry has done nothing with the chick. He hasn't made out with the chick. He hasn't fooled around with the chick. If he said to me, "Oh yeah, well, I've made out with her," I'd go, "Oh okay, you've got some progress." I would totally back off. He doesn't even have that going All for right, him. Well, we'll get to the bottom of it. Five two zero ninety seven one zero triple eight five two zero ninety seven one zero. Debbie, you there? Yes. All right, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I don't know if you're listening to the station, <laughs> but there's two guys uh, arguing over you. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> Hi. All right, hold sure. on one sec. All right, baby? Okay. All right, hold on. This could be interesting. Let's see who this chick goes for, either Jerry Wachowski or Brian Whitman. 
I don't think we should. I don't. I don't know that it's like that. By the way, she knows. Let me just say this. She knows Jerry much better than she knows me because Jerry's been calling her probably incessantly. I, Jerry's no, been I have, talking with her a long. I haven't called right. her incessantly. I, we, we we talk. But we he communicate gets, often. Right, we'll, I, we'll get. I'll get to. The, I'll help you two out. But Jerry, gets, I, like I always. It made the best okay. man win. No, Brian. no, no, no. It's not. No, it's not an even competition because Jerry has a relationship with her. All I'm asking for is her number to call her. She's a friend of mine. Okay, if she's a friend of yours, but, uh, Brian, then I can okay, call well, her. We gotta take like, a break. Is she a girlfriend of yours? She, she's not a girlfriend. Right. Then why can't I call her? It's been I don't crazy. care if you call her. I, I've given you, no, you do care. I've do, given do. you 90 days, Jerry. I've given you more than 90 days. And this exact same thing has happened two times before. And you know what, Tim? I gave up the first time. How do you take a bone away from a hungry, no, hungry dog? The first time, Tim. Because we're both single dudes. Tim, the first time I gave up. A real decent piece of ass because Jerry wanted to pursue it. Who are you talking about? You know, and I'm not saying. You also met her at Knott's, too. I'm not saying. I know who but, that is. Yeah, okay. And then you took her to a Christmas party or something, Jerry. Pig. All right, uh, I'll get to the bottom of this. These two uh, guys are going after the same chick. And, again, i got to step in and, and uh, solve the situation. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, Your Honor, Your Honor, 90 days, Your Honor. And there's been no progress on the physical front. It is the Conway and Whitman Show. When we come back, we'll talk to Debbie and see uh, if she's interested in Brian or Jerry Wachowski. It would be very uncomfortable for somebody. We're live on 97.1 Free FM. All right, welcome back, everybody. It is the Conway and Whitman Show, and we're live at 97.1 Free FM. Brian Whitman and Jerry Wachowski are going after the same chick. Um, that's... Jerry's had his opportunity for the last 90 days, and now Brian wants to take a shot. I have not voiced even a desire, but what happened is I saw this chick, and we had a brief conversation at Knott's. Chemistry? Name. We're calling her uh, uh, well, Debbie, Debbie, since that's, that's her, her name. name yeah. And uh, no, I don't know about chemistry. I just saw her and I thought, oh, she's attractive. And she was like into the show. But I noticed that Jerry was gravitating toward her. So I decided without Jerry having to say anything that I was just going to sit it out. Oh, so Jerry's, uh, you know, let Jerry work on it. You know, let's see if Jerry can get something going. Now, this has happened two times in the past, two separate times in the past. Jerry has come to me and said, hey, Whitman. Do me a favor. Can you back off? Because I really kind of like this chick. He sent me a long email once. I really like this chick. So I do the right thing. I do the buddy thing. I back off. I let Jerry go for it. In both of those occasions, he didn't get anything done. This is now the third occasion. I went into his studio a few minutes ago. I said, Jerry, how long ago uh, did you meet Debbie? I said, 90 days, right? It's been 90 days. He said, yeah. I said, "Have you? Uh, is, is she your girlfriend? You, I mean, have you... Have you slept with her? No. Have you made out with her? No. I said, all right, give me her phone number. You're out. 90 days. You couldn't get it done. But Jerry's like a, like, it's like the tortoise and the hare. Jerry's like a turtle. He moves slowly, but he always wins, man. I'm, I'm he not, always gets that tail. No, he doesn't. He never does. In my experience, he never does. And the, and the right, one- let's talk to the woman. And I just want to say this for just for the, the one time I backed off. Sure. The one time I backed off- I gave up a really, really nice piece of ass because Jerry said he wanted to try to see if all he right, could right. get Debbie, a friendship going. Debbie, you're on 97.1 Free FM. How are you? I'm good. How are you? All right. Nice <laughs> to hear your voice, little buddy. How old are you? 27. 27 she years old. 20. You look younger than 27, Debbie. That's what everybody tells me. And you really, you really came out of your shell at that Christmas party. You were dancing and karaoke <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. I had so much fun. All right, you put a couple of drinks in you, man. You go nuts. I know. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so crazy. how tall are you? Uh, five eight. Five eight. So you're about mm -hmm. Brian's height. Yes, yeah, so that's what I am. Five eight. And uh, <laughs> and you've been out with Jerry how many times? And where is he taking taking you? Um. Well, we went. I went to not Scary Farm. A station. Guys. That's a station event. So that's not a yeah. date. And okay. <laughs> where, where has he you went to the Christmas party? Where has he spent money yeah. to take you? Um. He hasn't spent any money on me. Well, he listens to like us all afternoon. I know. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> right, you are. Maybe, maybe he'll take you to the uh, Hawaiian Gardens. You can watch him play two four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. For that one. <laughs> all right, baby. So um, now, I from what Brian has said, that he's given Jerry a long enough period of time to uh, <laughs> to try to uh, ace you. And I wasn't even saying anything. Just in my mind, I was I wa watching the clock. You're all right. counting. Now, now we have I to was, ask. I we got to ask you before the change of the guard here. 
What All is right. what is your attraction to Jerry Wachowski? Will it ever happen? Do you think uh, that could be a relationship? <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. We haven't we haven't really gotten to like hang out too much. But he sends me text messages all the time. I talk to him a lot. He's really funny. Nice guy. Very funny guy. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Well, she she and I. I think he's growing a goatee just for you. Yeah? Debbie, I guess you're into oh, that. Oh, I know. He sent me a picture oh, yeah. of that. Yeah. Debbie, you remember you and I had very, 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 very brief conversation because Tim and I were doing the show at Knott's. Uh-huh. Um, so uh, we really don't know each other. Debbie and I really don't know each other. I know. All but I can I, say. I'm flattered, though, that you've been thinking about me for 90 days. Oh, oh well, yeah. You know, More I've, than thinking about you. And I've been watching. <laughs> I've been watching the clock because I've been thinking to myself, is Jerry going to do this again where he's going to have a great opportunity? He's going to blow it. And it's 90 days. Uh, Debbie, let me ask you. It's 90 days. Uh, should should Jerry feel free to uh, slide your phone number over this way after 90 days? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, let, let me let me. Uh, and by the way, the two of you are very lucky and very fortunate. Thank you. That I'm not a single man because this would have been a done deal. <laughs> You guys both would have been going out to the movies That's with each true, other. Yeah. yeah, Debbie and I would have been in Vegas together. Not even a question. Yes, you got it, baby. All right, so so uh, Brian Whitman is now interested in uh, the the big handoff. Well, I've expressed uh-huh. an, I've expressed I've expressed an inclination. Jerry has Jerry has the football. Uh, Brian is uh, the fullback, and he's he's <laughs> he's running up to Jerry. Jerry's had the ball for ninety days. Should Jerry then hand the football to Brian Whitman and see if what? I can uh, take the line? Well, I don't know because like Jerry, Jerry's so funny, and like he's a real smooth talker. But then Brian's got the hundred thousand dollar car. So, <laughs> by the way, like, sweetheart, if if you think <laughs> I have to tell you something, honey, if you think that Jerry is funny, <laughs> and you think Jerry's a smooth talker, uh huh. Wait till you get. Wait till you go out with the funds. Right. I mean, you know, I'm a professional at this, honey. Yeah, I have to say, I was very disappointed that you weren't at the Christmas party. Huh? So. Yeah, they around here, and this is only a technical term, but uh, Brian is known as the big funds. Were you really looking forward to seeing me at the Christmas party, Debbie? Yeah, no, I was hoping that you were going to be there. All right. Now, if uh, if you were to uh, have to pick one of the two, like this is the dating game. Well, but she doesn't even know me yet. But let's let's yeah. get to the bottom of this. She knows enough about two of you. She's been listening to the show, and she's been to the <laughs> Christmas party here at the station. Which now I wish I was there. I would have had an opportunity to have a little uh, patter with her. A little yes, you would have. Yeah, you'd I was, you'd I was also seen her drunk and <laughs> singing, and she was a hit. And All right, so, so Debbie, let's say Brian and Jerry both ask you to uh, uh, supper, all right? Uh-huh. They want to uh, treat... S- supper? What is this, 1950? <laughs> <laughs> supper? They want to treat oh, you, you to... They, they want to treat you to a nice supper, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, that's um, the first time you've heard me do a joke, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> first time I heard it. Sure. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and you have an opportunity to just go out with one of them to a dinner. Glad we I... Need, gl- we need, glad we need I, you to choose. Right, we need you to choose. I have to choose one. Yes. It's like Sophie's choice. But I would expect that she would choose Jerry because, again, she knows well, Jerry. Let, let, let's yeah, let's I, let I, her I, choose. Well, yeah, I, I don't know because I don't know Brian. Debbie? Huh? A or B, oh, okay. apples, oranges, Jerry or Brian? That's unfair. Yeah, they're, they're not even comparable. Uh, I think but, you should ask but, the question this way. I think you should, in fairness to me, Tim, I think the question should be asked this way. Debbie? Uh-huh. Uh, d- would it be appropriate or okay to begin a friendship, a conversation with me while you continue to talk to Jerry? Oh, of course. So having your phone number would be okay? <laughs> yeah, I think so. But having having a, a uh, conversation with Brian, let's say that that uh, would destroy your relationship with Jerry. Would that be acceptable? Um, No. Well, that because, would okay. Go ahead. Would that would, that would that be a deal breaker for you, Brian? Well, no. Uh, but I'll let Do Debbie finish. Her th- but I think it would be very foolish for Jerry to take such a position. I mean, they they have a friendship. For Jerry to say to Debbie, "If you even talk to Brian." I'll never talk to you again would be childish, immature. Oh, and that's what you, but that's what yeah. Jerry has to do as a man. Though. No, no, no. As a man, <laughs> as a man, Jerry's had 90 days to get something going with Debbie as a man. He hasn't spent, has he spent a dime on you? No. Has okay. he had any physical contact with you? Uh, 
no. And it's been more than 90 days. Uh, my case is dismissed. I, I can close the case. I've even been drunk with them. <laughs> wow. Right. Well, well you, but you had to go home the next. You had to go home like later. You'd be early for work. Jerry, you're an embar- you're an embarrassment, Jerry. Um, <laughs> All right. Has Have you been back to Jerry's house? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. All right, Jerry. By the way, you know we just BS everybody on the air here, but he's got a beautiful uh, beach house down in Manhattan Beach. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's gorgeous. He sure. keeps trying to get me to come over and play Naked Guitar Hero, though. Oh yeah, but you know what? That's <laughs> that's uh, that's only a euphemism for what he wants to really play. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't picking up on that. All right, so would you would you go to dinner with Jerry again? She hasn't been to dinner I with Jerry. As a matter or, of fact, you... we're supposed to go to dinner and a movie on Saturday. Oh, we're on the yeah. 100th day. But on the no. 100th day. Oh, yeah, on the 100th day because... Someone... Sweetie, Jerry, sweetie, Jerry, Jerry has... Coming. By the way, Debbie, Jerry has two, not one, but two mm-hmm. melting, bot, melting pot gift certificates that he could treat you to a dinner. Sweetheart. Really? Sweetheart. I've never been there. I would have had you at the Palm in a week. <laughs> that would have been fun. And yeah. back at your place in no. a week and two hours? No, 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 no. No, no, no. All right, Debbie. So you would go uh, to dinner with Jerry, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, would you also feel comfortable going to dinner with Brian in the same week? In the same week? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Right, because because technically we'd all just be friends because you and Jerry, after more than ninety days, are huh? are in truth nothing more than friends. Exactly. But you see it moving. At the moment. Do you do you see it moving in a different direction? I'm not sure yet. Okay. No, no it's, you seem I, I, pretty I vague know. here. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure that Jerry wants that. Oh, he definitely wants that. <laughs> Jer- Jerry, do you want that? It's been more than 90 days. Well, I didn't know I was on a clock, first of all, but I guess if I'm on a clock, I'll say I'd like to, I'd like to hang out with her and see where it goes from there. He's we've hung out for 90 days. You've been hanging, uh, you're Brian. Right. We've only hung out a handful of times, and every time we've hung out, I've been around like right. a Could, ton of guys. Hey, like, Debbie. Been, <laughs> that's my move. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you think he got my phone number in the first place? <laughs> All, right. All right, Debbie, we'd like to uh, track your relationship with these two clowns and see uh, right. and see who you end up with. I'm very excited. All right, you take care of yourself. <laughs> okay. We're going we're to send you a prize for coming on with Just us. Just for putting up with us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, we're going to. S- is the prize Jerry and Brian? <laughs> yeah, it's a three way. <laughs> Yeah. Would you a, be into a three way with the two of them? Uh, I would not. I'll I'll, I'll pass on that. <laughs> Debbie, would you be into that? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'd have to pass Wait on a minute. that. Wait, huh? hey, and Brian? Yeah. Ha- have you yeah. ever been with two guys? Uh, <laughs> um, not all the way. Right. right. Whoa. <laughs> No, uh, again. Uh, so, uh, so Debbie, you I'll guys be... are both so out of your league, man. This Get woman, this you woman is, is who you're dealing with here. <laughs> Debbie, I'll, I'll be calling you. All right, sweetie. Okay, I can't right. wait. You take care. Hey, what is your MySpace in case people want to check you out? Oh, I don't have a MySpace. Hmm. What do you have a Facebook? Uh, no. Do you have a. Uh, uh, you have a lane tra- like that. You have Western a, Union. Do you have a trapper keeper with scratch and sniff <laughs> stickers on it? Uh, no, I don't have that either. All right, all right baby. Thanks for calling. Okay. All right, you take care of yourself. Bye, Debbie. All right, there she goes. All right, what is the statute of limitations where a guy can start moving in on another guy's chick? Yeah, again, it's been two times already. This is the third time with Jerry. 520-9710-888-520-9710. The lovely Debbie is being fought over by these two radio bulls. No, I'm, not, I'm not fighting over her. My frustration is with Jerry. When Jerry says to me in an email, as he did last year, can you please, um, I, I, know you're into, I know you're interested in this chick. I really feel a connection to her. Can you please back off? Right. And then I do. You backed off. I, I'm a I buddy. Know, I, I back off. I and, and, and then he does it a second time. Right. And, and then, then he gets, this is the third time. Right. And he never gets anything going with this chick. If he was banging these chicks, I'd be happy Brian, for him. Brian, do you think I would have got something going with the other chick if she, if she was into that? Maybe I would have. Yeah, but you can't but she's do not it. Into that. So guess what? You wouldn't have been able to either. Guess son. what? Guess what, Jerry? Can't you? Your dad's in, a, in the liquor business. Can't you get him like J- knocked Jerry, out on Jerry, liquor? Jerry, here's what I'm saying to you, my friend. You're my buddy, and I love you. But I'm done. You know, not pursuing chicks for you because this is the third time, hey, Brian, and you can't get it done. Here's what I have to say to you. And I sure. have facilitated. All right. I have facilitated. It is the Conway for you. And Whitman show. We're live on 97.1 Free FM. Oh, the facilitation I've done for him. Sure. Welcome back, everybody. It is the Conway and Whitman Show. We're live on 97.1 Free FM. Real quickly, what is the statute of limitations where a guy can go after another dude's chick? Well, it's and not. That's not even his chick. You're right. And not, not John even. John in a, Santa Monica, you're on the air. Sorry. For, fellas, how you doing? Well, we only have two minutes here, dude. Mm-hmm. What's up? 
Hey, uh, just real quick, guys. You guys are the best studs on the radio. Let me tell you that. Thank right, you, man. Hey, no, real quick. No, Brian is completely right. Jerry's acting kind of like a douche. Uh-oh. Same thing happens with my friends. Uh, when we go out, I'm the one who goes out and talks to the girls. You know, nothing too sleazy. You say, how you doing? I back up sometimes because these guys really are into the girls we talk to. And they end up doing nothing. Nothing at all. Right, and you've backed right. off, and right. then, and it's you know, and it's another thing when a guy, and I'm talking about Jerry, comes to you and asks you to back off, and then because you're a good buddy, you do back off, and he still gets nothing done. Allie, you're on ninety seven point one Free FM. Is that me? Yes. Um, first of all, I have to say, please stop saying ninety days because I'll kill myself if you don't. Secondly, if. You, you, you don't like the term. You don't like the term ninety days, right? So if I say I, ninety days, do you promise to shoot yourself? Oh my God! If I had a gun, I certainly would, because you've said it like five hundred times. Well, but it's important. Point, ninety days. Ninety days. Hang yourself. <laughs> ninety days. Ninety days. All right. What do you got, Allie? Um, what, Jerry, if yeah. you haven't, Jerry, Jerry, I'm sorry. If you haven't gotten Allie. it by this time, it's Jerry. not happening. You've moved into that friendship realm. Thanks, Allie. It's, it's hey, over. by the way, every girl with the name Allie is a real bitch. Uh-oh. Oh, I pride myself on my bitchiness. Thank you uh. very much for recognizing that. Now you also sound a little fat. Um, no. I th- I like you, Allie. <laughs> sure. Thank you. You're my favorite. Yeah, baby. <laughs> if I single, I, I drive to Los Brian, Angeles. I, where's Los Angeles? Where are you? I'm in West Los Angeles. Yeah. Hot chicks in West LA. Absolutely. All right, Jeff and Simi Valley, you're on 97.1. <laughs> Hello, Tim Conway Jr. How are you? Hey, how are you, dude? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you, Bob Run? All right. Jeff and Camarillo, you're on the air. Hey, guys. What's happening? Hey. Hey, dude. The statute of limitations is like 1.1 1. 1 seconds. <laughs> David and Long Beach, you're on the air. Hey, Stud. Uh, I'd say half to half 45 days. I mean, you know, he's going out of his way to do him a favor. and he's, I mean, you know, with women, he would have buried it within a week. <laughs> That's true. Matt in Ontario, you're on the air. <laughs> statute of limitations and there should be no email from jerry to brian asking her to back off she's a thinking feeling human being no he asked me to likes, back off right that's what yeah, right. i think that's what he if meant she likes brian more than jerry she's gonna decide that so that's they should exactly both right have their chance it's not like jerry shouldn't be going up to her and going oh i feel a real connection with this chick will you back off if she's already going to to brian there's no connection there jerry it's there's no connection if she likes brian more if he's hitting on her why the hell would you even want it? Right. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's a, a, a douchebag thing to do is to to email somebody and say back off. I mean, that's odd. That's well, really weird. Uh, that's what Jerry did, and I respected it. And that I, was with another chick, and that was right. a different situation. She's not even like that. Back right. off, boogaloo. Is that what you write? But now that's exactly what back I wrote. Off, boogaloo. That was the subject line of the email. But now, because Jerry did that once before. I figure, oh, okay, I'll give him 90 days. I'll give him three months with this chick. So I walked into the studio today. I said, hey, Jerry, you, give me sleep, the number. you sleeping with that girl? He's like, no. I said, give me the number. It's been more than 90 days. You, you, you're, you, right. you can't Don't get say it. 90 days. It's going to kill that chick. Oh, that's right. Allie's John gonna... in Long Beach, you're on the air. Uh, I'd say the statute of limitations is one day. Okay. Apollo, you're on 97.1 right. Free FM. Apollo. Hello. Yeah, you're on the air. Yes, guys. Now, she... Is already in the friendship zone. Zone. I agreed with Ali. She's perfect. She's right. It's impossible to do anything with this girl now. For who? For Jerry? Girl. You mean it's impossible? Yes, Jer- Jerry is totally in the friendship zone. Jerry is totally in the friendship zone. Right. I educate thousands of guys online on how to pick up chicks. He's totally in the friendship zone. She's not going to do anything. She's too shy. She's too in- trying to be nice. That's why she doesn't say she wants to go in and try out Brian. Of course she doesn't want to try out Brian and see if Brian is going to be man enough and make the move on time. Right. How about, how about Brian spends a dime on her? She told us on the uh, air, Jerry no, hasn't taken has her. Nothing. Jerry hasn't taken her. Now, Jerry's got plenty of money to play poker. He hasn't no. taken her one place or spent a dime on her. Yes, and money has nothing to do with you this You should guy. take her out and get her chicken or something. The time, the girls like it. Hey, Apollo, <laughs> are you an upright biped? Pardon me? Tell me that again. Are you an upright biped? Uh, I don't understand that much because I was not born in here. Guys. Where were you born? Well, I was born in Greece. Greece, okay. Do you stand on two legs, sir? Yes, I, of course. Okay. I You're not on all fours, right? Doing well. <laughs> all right, dude. All right, I'm glad you give great advice to guys online, dude. Uh, thank you. All right. Daryl in North Hollywood, you're on 97.1. <laughs> yeah, if 
uh, Jerry wasn't such a C block, it, it would be no more than three dates. Right, right. And how about Daryl? You you up on twos? Yep, I'm up on twos and uh, <laughs> only on fours when needed. <laughs> All right, get out of here, Jack. I just wonder if some of our audience is still on all fours. Sometimes you wonder what they look like while they're calling. Yeah, what if yeah. they like you know like a like dogs? They crawl to the phone with their four on all fours, then they sit back up on their back two legs and dial. They dial with their big paws. Yeah, hit just hit buttons. <laughs> they dial the phone with their nose. But it's hard if their paws are too big. They just, just slap at that phone. <laughs> all hit all sorts of buttons. All sorts of tones are going off. Plus, they should be hibernating at this time. What is this, January? Well, you know, they like to sleep. You know, if they have, there's another dog in the house. Usually they All like right. to sleep together. All right, we'll keep you updated on Jerry, the the, uh, the love triangle of Jerry Wachowski, Brian Whitman, and the lovely Debbie. It's Conway and Whitman. We're live on 97.1 Free FM.